Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. John 8, 12, you know the deal. This is not really a Bible study, more of a pay attention, you know, kind of thingy. Um, a number of years ago, oh, I don't know, maybe 10, Europe was getting rid of what was called incandescent bulbs. And, of course, they were saying it for, you know, climate change you know we got to save the climate uh, if you don't know what an incandescent bulb is it's, it's the one that's got the filament that lights up and they get extremely hot they are i must admit they are wasteful energy uh supposedly edison created it he probably stole it like everything else uh edison was a big fraud uh, Tesla invented the uh, fluorescent bulb, believe it or not, which is a lot cooler, a lot more energy efficient. But uh, the reason I'm pointing this out is they want everybody to go to energy efficient LEDs, uh, light emitting diodes. And I saw, I think it was on TEDx, which is where all the smart people go to listen to all the smart people tell about their smart inventions. I'm not 100% sure it was TEDx, but you've had people like Gates on there and, you know, a bunch, the rest, you know, the in crowd. Well, the deal is somebody, I don't remember if somebody sent me, me this or if it was a suggestion or what, but LED lights can be used as microphones. Yeah. But I suspect that that's why they put all the smart meters in the house. And smart meters are digital, not analog. And they send out a pulse with, uh, it's a radio pulse. So it's communicating with the utility company. Oh, and that's another thing. Tesla wanted to give us free energy and uh, the you know who's wanted us to pay a monthly bill. Yeah, but uh, so the LEDs can be used as a microphone and they seem to prove that in the uh, TEDx, I think it was TEDx presentation that I watched. It was only a few minutes long. So suppose they can do that. Suppose all the LED lights in your house are microphones and they're hooked up to the smart meter, which is listening and transmitting, you know, I think it's like pulse like every six seconds or something of everything said. Think about it. You know, we don't need to tap your phone. Of course, they've got your, uh, all computers have got cameras and microphones too. Do they have to be on to work? I don't know. All I know is there was a school that issued uh, computers so that they could do video chat things or whatever, online classrooms or whatever. I'm not sure if that was, was during the uh, the beer thing or, or before. I'm not sure. Um, you know, I read a lot of stuff. Remembering the timelines is not easy sometimes. But the, but the thing is, either the administration or a teacher or group uh, were activating the cameras of the computers of the girls. And a lot of times the girls would do, put the computers in the bedroom and, you know, leave them up. Uh, well, maybe not on and running or whatever, but uh, I'm not sure if it was elementary, middle school or high school girls, but uh, they caught them. You know, the girls got the computer in the bedroom and they're changing clothes and they're being watched, probably recorded probably put it up on a you know website one of those 
kind of websites that, uh, yeah. And I think, you know, I wouldn't be too happy if that was, you know, my kids. But uh, then again, is there any privacy anymore? I don't know. And I think if you've got a smart TV in the bedroom, are you watching TV or is the TV watching you? You know, uh, if the TV's watching you, you know, uh, hey, uh, hey, Moshe, come over here and watch the goy, you know, go yim. Uh, look what they're doing. Yeah, let's get this on recorded. Yeah. Yeah, are they watching uh, people in the bedroom giving them a show? I don't know. I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me. You know, and then people are getting the Alexas. Uh, you know, hey, Alexa, show me uh, comedy movies. Yeah, the world's going to hell and you're watching television. So, you know, I don't know. I've heard, I've had people tell me that a lot of these new smart appliances, like refrigerators, I got microphones. I, I don't know if that's true or not. You know? I, you know, it's getting there. Oh, it's voice activated. You know? Oh, yeah. Give me a cup of ice. Really? What? Are, and people, uh, people want this stuff. You know, there's a reason why they put those smart meters in these houses. There's a reason. But, uh, and you couldn't even opt out. You cannot opt out. There are states in this country where you cannot opt out of the smart meter. And PG&E, which is uh, California's, one of California's electric providers, uh, people are alleging that the smart meters are catching fire and the homes are burning. Is it true? I don't know. Can they flick a switch and say, hey, we don't like these people. Three o'clock in the morning when you're asleep, the the uh, meter catches fire. I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's just, uh, I would think twice about having LED lights in my house. Matter of fact, I bought a bunch of uh, incandescent bulbs when I heard they were going to ban them. But uh, yeah. So, you know, they don't have to, they can spy on everything you say. Keep that in mind, really. Keep that in mind uh, anytime you buy something new, you know. Smart refrigerators and smart washers and dryers. and I mean, it's going to get to the point where uh, nothing you say or do will be secret anymore. But I, seriously, I, I just don't know how people uh, want to have a television in the bedroom. I, I just don't get it. Me, I got a old Sony's Trinitron. I think it was made in the 90s. I don't remember. Uh, definitely not a smart TV. And <laughs> I only use it for uh, basically the weather. And sometimes I'll watch some shows just to see what kind of filth they're peddling to our to the masses you know so all right well that's just a warning and uh more to come